just you can put that one in any old way because you'll see why later. It really doesn't have to stand up. But mm -hmm. this one, I'd like you to put in uh, straight up because you're going to light it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, put that lighted candle in that jar. Okay. Okay. Now you can put the top on that one. Okay. Now we have two jars uh, exactly alike, or at least as close as you can get them. Both have candles in. That one's burning, this one's not, right? Yes. You've heard about a control when you do a scientific experiment. Yes. What's the purpose of the control? Well, so you can compare the, um, your experiment to nothing that's happened right, to yeah. one. In this case, even though it's laying over on the side, nothing is happening mm -hmm. in this one. Mm -hmm. While that one, oh, the fire went out. Now, I'll shake this one, you shake that one. Okay. What we want to try to do is to is to mix the gases in the jar with the liquid. It's turning kind of a different color. Yeah. That's because the blue is from a chemical called bromothymol blue and is a test for a certain chemical. Here, put it down. What do you suspect made the change? Well, I think the carbon dioxide from the candle's flame mm -hmm. made, made the difference. Made the change, because that's the only yes. difference. This one was lighted, that wasn't, right? Yes. That's right. This is a test. Bromothymol blue changes color in the presence of carbon dioxide. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, so that you should be able to predict what's going to happen over here, you're going to blow through that one, and okay. I'm going to pump air through this one. What should happen? Well, I think that because I'm blowing through this one, it should turn a different color because I'm letting out carbon dioxide. Sure. When you breathe in, you yes. breathe in oxygen, you give out carbon dioxide. Okay, I'll pump air, and you blow in carbon dioxide. What's happening? This one turned a different color, yeah. kind of greenish. Proving again the presence of what? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, right. Now I'd like you to... Uh, Meet uh, some friends of mine that you have a lot in common with. Okay. Oh, those are mealworms. Yes, mealworms. And when I started out, that solution down there was blue. So what must the mealworms do? Uh, they would probably let out carbon dioxide right. to make this color. You don't ordinarily think of worms taking in oxygen no. and giving out carbon dioxide. No, but don't. they obviously do because the change color. Yes. Does you want to put the mealworms back? Okay. Okay, good. Okay. What are you going to do with the mealworms? What, you want to go fishing? No, I, I was wondering if I could show them to my class. This has been a really interesting experience. Well, okay, if you're going to do the mealworms, then you should do the bromothymol blue, too. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. here's a supply of that. Okay, so remember now you. what to do. Just mm -hmm. make sure in every case that you have what is known as a control. Yes. And you can use bromothymol blue to test for the presence of carbon dioxide. Good luck. Thank you.